Hey guys, welcome to the first day of Vlogmas. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, I have a lot going on since the last time I've seen y'all. I got a new job, as you can see. I'm currently here. I work for Sephora at Somerset Mall. So, guys, make sure to come see me and check me out for all my people who live in Michigan. And I have a lot of new stuff going on. Like, just a whole bunch of stuff. But currently, I'm at work. I can't really vlog while I'm at work for real. But when I get off work, you guys, we can talk, chit-chat, whatever, whatever. I'm also going to insert my clip of getting my hair done as you can see my hair is done so i'm going to insert that for you guys in the vlog so you can see that footage and we can cut back to when i'm off work yesterday okay guys so i am currently about to get ready to go in a minute to get my hair done because under this thing is amazing okay so yeah i'm about to go get my hair done uh because i want to be cute for work and i've had my hairstyle with the braids and stuff for a while now so it's time to change it up switch it up on them i'm probably gonna get the same ponytail that i got last time so yeah you're gonna come with me and let's go <laughs> car i just got off work um with my sisters they're currently in dsw trying to get some shoes right now um i'm also with my nephew but yeah i'm off work work was pretty good today everybody loved my hair you know what i'm saying everybody loved my hair and it was a good day it was pretty good but i'm gonna really talk to you guys when i get home settled down got everything off and stuff and hopefully i can find something to eat because like i am really hungry like for real but yeah i'll talk to you guys when i get home <laughs> all right y'all i'm finally back and it's quiet <sighs> i haven't put on my pajamas yet i got my pants on but I didn't change my shirt, but we're gonna decorate this small tree while I talk to you guys um, about everything that's been going on with me. Just not everything in detail, but just pretty much the basics. So I didn't tell you guys where I was working yet. I didn't really get the chance because honestly it didn't matter at the time when I did my last vlog, it didn't matter. Before I got to Sephora, I worked at FedEx I was uh, in warehouse working and things like that. It was cool at first. And... Till it got like boring and more strict, I guess. A little bit, not really though. Like it was strict, but it wasn't super duper strict. But it, they were starting to get there. And it was like an easy little job that I was kind of working part time. And then it turned into like this boring ass job that I didn't want to be at anymore. So I just figured out I'd just leave and just go ahead and do my own thing or whatever. So pretty much that's what I did. I left and not only because of that, it was because partly because of what my last relationship, I need to work. You know somewhere close that we both can get to without having it cost too much and things like that so 
I was working there for convenience. Not really for me, but just convenience. But now that I've moved on from that relationship, I can work wherever I want. Somewhat can work wherever I want. Um, So I decided to apply to Sephora because I haven't really, like, I know beauty, but, like, I don't know beauty like I used to. Like, I feel like I'm so behind when it comes to the trends of beauty and what's new, what's not, what what companies retire from business and things like that. So I just feel kind of insecure in that way um, as far as that goes because it's like... It's like I know beauty, but I don't know it like I used to. I feel like I, I kind of just left it. And then we, me doing makeup, I was doing makeup at the time, but I guess I just didn't have the strongest feeling in doing makeup like I used to. So I quit that too, in all honesty. I quit doing makeup. I mean, I love doing makeup, don't get me wrong. I like doing makeup, but I think I want to like doing my own makeup first. So, before I sit here and make it a business. But I don't know if I want to ever bring it back up again, doing makeup for other people again. I don't know if I want to do that anymore. I feel like I'm kind of veering off in a new adventure of just trying to do YouTube and trying to vlog and edit and all this other stuff that I like. I kind of like doing. So, I think I'm going to do that. And it just helps me, like, express my feelings to you guys or whatever or what I'm going through. And, yeah, I just, i rather do this. Even though I'm working, like, my mind lately has been so focused on making money and building an empire and getting myself really out of the 9 to 5 so I can wake up and just do whatever I want to do, whatever I feel like doing. That's the whole goal for me, to be able to wake up in the morning and wake up every day, matter of fact, and just be like, I can do whatever the the fuck I want to do like that's the whole goal for me and then you know the other materialistic things like buying nice clothes and taking trips and things like that Oops. <laughs> things like that that materialistic shit that I want to do I want to do that too because one I haven't taken a vacation in like so long like really especially one that's solo by myself I've never taken one by myself. Like I've always taken one. I've took I've taken a vacation before, but it wasn't for me. So I wanna take vacations like solo trips or something like you know, because right now I don't really get no friends. But y'all, y'all my friends. Whoever watching, y'all my friends. But like other than that, I don't have no friends I could be like, oh let's go on a trip, let's go do this, let's go do that. Like no. It's just me and my dolo. I done been through my share of friends. I done been through my share of acquaintances and just people in general. And I am just, I'm really over the back and forth, the wishy-washy, the come and go. So I'm just really by myself. And honestly, I just needed that time to work on myself and work on me being also a better friend to other people. Because I know I'm not the best Uh friend to other people and I'm, I can be very distant and standoffish and all that other stuff you know it's not just them it's me too so I just want to I want to take the time to learn to be a better friend to people and that's pretty much it and be kind to myself like I said I got a new job I'm loving it it's great the people are great the managers are all great everything's good like this way better than so far it's way better than what i've been doing i mean like a field that i like that i can get with that i can understand i know i'm kind of unfamiliar with a lot of stuff it's like a, so much stuff in there that i don't even understand like or like can get with because you know other people just know a little bit more than my, i do because they probably been there longer but like i'm i feel i just feel so far behind it kind of makes me insecure about it because I don't like not knowing stuff I like to make sure I know what I'm talking about and I know everything but it's okay we're here to learn and we're here to figure everything out as we go day by day you know 
I'm not, it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be an overnight process. It's not going to be easy, but we're going to figure it out while we're working here and, you know, getting our stuff together. But like I said, I have so many bigger dreams than just this. I want to do more. I want to make more money. I want to travel the world. I want to fall in love and, and have my husband and my kids. Like, I want to have all that. I'm really ready for all that. I'm tired of, like waiting for guys to get their shit together i'm really just i'm i'm just ready to, for some her nigga to just be ready with me because i'm i feel like i'm on a whole different level now like i feel like spiritually mentally i'm on a different level and i'm ready to i'm ready to get it out here with you and we both make some money shit for real i'm ready but it's going to take some time, and I understand some people are just not there, and everybody's timing is different, but I mean, I'm rambling, but that's how I feel sometimes. Just trying to handle business, trying to uh, get my credit up, get my money up, trying to listen to things that motivate me. Every day I wake up, I listen to gratitude uh, affirmations. I try to make it up. A morning routine to listen to it every day before I do anything scroll on my phone it's hard sometimes but I try to fight through it so I try to do all that I've been listening to this one album from from payroll Giovanni the 10 stack commandments I've been listening to that almost non-stop trying to get you know myself not motivated to get this money but like figuring out other ways I can make multiple streams of income because that's really part of my goal right now is to figure out how I'm going to make all this money I, I want to have multiple streams of income that is one of my dreams one of my goals in life is to have multiple streams not just depend on one piece of income I want to have multiple streams so my money can come endlessly that's what I'm working on like Facebook trying to get my tiktok followers up trying to so i can get monetized on there trying to get all my followings social pages up follower wise so i can start getting paid for like my content i'm not there yet but it's slowly coming i've been doing a lot of hard work and posting and constantly just doing different things to you know put myself out there you know be more social not too much, but, you know, give the people enough to work with. Because I don't want to say too much about myself. Everybody don't need to know everything about me. I want to get myself out there to the world. I've never done it before, so it's my first time. And then just recording, doing, getting my hair done and stuff like that. It's not easy because I'm very shy. And then I don't know how other people feel, if they feel like they want to be on camera or not. It's just hard because, like, uh... I don't like asking and I don't like doing stuff without people's permission and I don't know how other people feel so it's just like hard for me but I try to do it anyway because this is content I need to record so and I'm sitting here being acting like I'm so so shy so I wish I am sometimes don't get me wrong don't get me wrong I am shy sometimes but not all the time it's it's been this year has been a very much a roller coaster for me. It's been crazy. It's been good, but it's been crazy too. I've had my ups and downs when it came to um, just life, just really life. Like I've had a lot of ups and downs. And starting from the beginning of this year, it was insane. <laughs> starting from that to the end of this year and it's almost the end of this year is almost over but it's, it's calmed down a lot from the beginning and from a little bit of the middle like the beginning of this year was something else but the ending I enjoyed it's been good you know I've been learning to be more by myself I've been learning to be a little more patient a little more calm I'm trying still working on it though not the easiest thing to do yeah, I've been trying to work on myself more, elevate my mind more, expand, trying to expand my horizons and, and get out of this 
shell of I call a city some like I've been thinking about moving to Atlanta I don't know if I want to I have to visit down there first just to see like if it's something I really truly want to do or if I feel like this is best move for me so I'm still thinking about it I don't I'm not sure about it yet I don't know it's just a thought for now but I've been thinking about moving to Atlanta so I don't know just to you know get a new scenery and different people different oops <laughs> A different environment just get a new feel of a different space and also wanting my own space that's also been a thing wanting my own space getting off the ground and going to get my own space my own apartment or something you know what I'm saying I don't know about house I don't know if I'm ready for the responsibility of a home but apartment is a good start for me I feel because I don't have to deal with uh, my own maintenance, paying for my own maintenance. Um, I don't have to deal with yard work, having to pay somebody to do that. It's, it'll be a lot of stuff that'll be getting prepared and, and fixed and stuff from other people because me, I don't know how to do all that stuff. I know I do it to a certain extent, but especially not no more on the grass. I don't do that. So I'm definitely gonna have to pay somebody to do that. Repairing anything when it comes to appliances and stuff, I don't know how to do that. So, yeah, I know I'm going to be paying somebody to do that. Wow. It just keeps doing it to me. I feel like it would be, my for my lifestyle, I feel like an apartment would be way easier for me to handle and maintain versus a house. So, right now, I just want an apartment that I can maintain. And I want a nice, lux kind of luxury apartment. I don't want no rundown of the mill place like I had last year. I want a nice, new, somewhat new place where I can really, you know, enjoy it decorate it and it call it my space truly because i haven't had that chance to call something my own this is my space and i want to have my space when i get that chance i'm going to be very happy about it i, I just can't wait till that day comes because i've been anticipating that day for so long calling something my own space is okay this isn't working Something I can call my own space is truly what I need. But yeah, I'm halfway decorated. You know, it's not the all the way done, but it is getting late. Well, actually, it is late. And I'm going to have to go to bed and wrap up the rest of this vlog. But if you guys enjoyed this vlog, make sure you like comment subscribe and share tell your family and friends that i'm doing vlog missed for the whole month of december let them know let them know up well not the whole month i'll say up to christmas day i'll be vlogging every day up until christmas day and after that that's a wrap so make sure, like i said make sure you like share and subscribe comment engage with me you know let me know how you feel about the first day because it is the first day i'm not the best with this you know i can do what i can i don't have all the tools i just work with what i can and to make my vlogs the best i feel it can be for what i have and i appreciate everything you know that i can do on my end because it's it may not be good to a lot of people it may not be like all those other YouTube vlogs where they have budgets to do like real good intros. But one day we'll get there. One day. One day we'll make so much money. We'll, we'll have nice little Christmas vlogs, intros, you know, where I'm actually in it and I am doing something versus, you know, me doing something simple just to make sure you guys get a, a video you know, but I'm not going to, you know, stress myself out about that or be sad about it. You know, we can only do what we do. And this is me doing something kind of last minute, not really planning it out. I'm really just going with the flow of things and kind of seeing like how my vlogs lay and what plans do I need to make. But I'm probably going to write some stuff down just so y'all can get like something interesting throughout this vlog that I'm doing something every day. But I'm going to try to commit and find something for me to do so you guys can have something to watch. But thank you for watching this vlog. And I'll see y'all later.